We're going to go through and show you how to make three different esters. So the first one, we're going to take test tube A here, and we're going to add 10 drops of methanol to it. Okay. So we have our methanol at the bottom there. Then we're going to take a pinch of salicylic acid. So esterification is always going to be a about, about that size amount. It's supposed to be 0.1 grams. We're going to hope for the best there. Um, sterification reaction is always going to be an alcohol, in this case we have methanol, mixed with a carboxylic acid, in this case salicylic acid. Then we need an acid catalyst to get this to react, so we're going to add two drops of sulfuric acid. I'm going to move really close so we don't spill that anywhere. And one, and two. So it looks like we want to get that down in there. All right, so we're going to try and get some of the stuff off the sides there and down at the bottom. We're going to stick that into our hot water bath. And we need that to sit in there for about five minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and start our second one. So test tube B. So for that, we're going to take pentanol, penton one all And we're going to do about 20 drops of that. Okay. And then we're going to add to that some ethanoic acid. So the ethanoic acid, if you're, it's glacial acetic acid here. So this is, this is pure, essentially, or close to pure. Um, and so when you're doing that, you want to keep it covered when you're not using it, otherwise it'll smell pretty bad. Um, so again, 20 drops of this. Okay, so now we have 20 drops of each in there. And we're going to go ahead and add two drops of sulfuric acid for the catalyst. We're going to make sure we get that off the sides. And there we go, that's ready to go in our hot water bath for about five minutes. So you'll note that this one is clear and colorless to start. And then our third one here, so we have our third test tube, and for this one we're going to do yet another alcohol. This time we have octan one all or octal alcohol. And again here we're going to do 20 drops. 20? And we're going to do 20 drops of the ethanoic acid again. So we're going to use the glacial acetic acid twice here. And then we need our acid catalyst, and so we're going to add two drops of acid catalyst. Okay, so there's our mixture, and yet again, it's a clear, colorless solution here. Um, and the first one was the only one that wasn't just a clear, colorless solution. We probably had a little too much salicylic acid there to fully dissolve. So we're going to set that in here, and we're going to let those cook for about five minutes. We'll probably take A out first given that it went in first. Okay, so at this point now we're getting to the point where these have been on over five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take A off. We need to be careful because we're wearing gloves here. So we need to make sure that we handle this in a way we can grab it. Without having any problems with that. Set A in here, let it cool down a little bit. Same thing with B. And same thing with C. So we can go ahead and turn off our hot water bath that out of the way. So now we should have our three esters and now what we want to do is go ahead and let them cool down for a second and then give them a smell to see what they smell like. 